India has always produced great intellectuals, scholars, politicians and so many great men from time immemorial. One such name which has been shining like a pole star across ages is the great stalwart and freedom fighter Dr. Rajendra Prasad. A name that has brought the concept of sovereignty and integrity of our country to highest levels across the globe. Dr. Prasad became the first president of independent India and extended extraordinary services for the betterment of country's socio-economic and political growth. He was born on 3rd December 1884 in village Ziradi in the present-day district of Siwan in the family of Mahadev Sahai and Kamleshwari Devi. Mahadev Sahai was a scholar of Sanskrit and Persian, while Kamleshwari Devi was a pious and religious lady. Dr. Prasad was strongly attached to his mother and elder brother Mahendra. At the age of five, Rajendra Prasad, according to the practice in the Kayastha community to which he belonged, was put under a Malvi who taught him Persian. Later, he was taught Hindi and arithmetic. At the age of 13, Rajendra Prasad was married to Rajwanshi Devi. Sharing intelligence, flawless oration, clear understanding, the making of a statesman and mass politician. Since childhood, Rajendra Prasad was a brilliant student. In 1902, Rajendra Prasad joined the Presidency College, Calcutta. He was initially a student of science and later he changed his focus to arts. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was instrumental in the formation of the Bihari Students' Conference in 1908. The move produced the entire political leadership of the 20s in Bihar. He won the election for the post of Secretary, Presidency College, Calcutta, winning with a huge margin against his opponent, a senior to Dr. Prasad in the college. In 1915, Rajendra Prasad passed with a gold medal in Masters in Law Examination with Honours. In 1916, Rajendra Prasad joined the High Court of Bihar and Orissa. This was soon followed by his holy dip in the depths of freedom struggle. India got a true leader, a compassionate leader, a committed humanitarian, the making of a karm yogi. April 1917, Dr. Rajendra Prasad came in contact with Mahatma Gandhi during the Champaran movement. This contact ignited something irreversible. Perhaps the yogi within Dr. Rajendra Prasad bloomed in full. Rajendra Prasad, already a follower of the path of simplicity, now had a metamorphosing of his outlook. After 1934 Bihar earthquake, floods and malaria outbreak, he was very active in distributing foods, clothes and medicines. He was released two days later after the earthquake from the jail and he collected a fund of rupees 38 lakhs, thrice of what the Viceroy could gather. Rabindranath Tagore once wrote to Dr. Rajendra Prasad, I feel assured in my mind that your personality will help to soothe the injured souls and bring peace and unity into an atmosphere of mistrust and chaos. This was Rajendra Prasad, an antidote to chaos, an annihilator of negativity. Rajendra Prasad led the nation, setting himself as an example, an honest, earnest and simple way of mass leading, Champaran movement, Salt Satyagraha movement, Quit India Movement, Indian National Congress Leadership and Presidency. Drafting of Indian Constitution are some of the most involving roles of Dr. Rajendra Prasad, which saw a truthful and honest leader. And then came the dawn of independence, which saw Dr. Rajendra Prasad as the first president of independent India. We conclude this documentary with the words of Sarojini Naidu when called upon to facilitate Rajendra Babu. Some time ago, 
I was asked to compress an epic into an epigram about Rajendra Prasad. I was asked to say a line about Rajendra Prasad and I said that I could only do so if I had a pen of gold dipped in a pot of honey adequately to pay a tribute to his qualities. आवश्यकता इस बात की है कि हम साधनों को सुरक्षित रखें और मुतबेता द्वारा कुछ चीजों के आयात पर प्रतिबंध निर्यात व्यापार के विस्तार और उद्योग तथा कृषि के क्षेत्रों में राष्ट्रीय आत्मनिर्भरता में वृद्धि द्वारा इन साधनों का विस्तार करें इस बात की भी जरूरत है कि उत्पादक कार्यों के लिए धन जुटाया जाए अनुत्पादक कामों के हाथ में न लिया जाए और अति संग्रह और सत्य की समाज विरोधी प्रवृत्तियों का दमन किया जाए केवल सरकार द्वारा ही नहीं बल्कि जनता द्वारा भी प्रयत्न करने और सावधान रहने से ही इस काम में ठोस सफलता प्राप्त हो सकती है वी पे आवर ट्रिब्यूट टू द ग्रेट सन ऑफ द सॉयल आवर ओन डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद